gosh, guys, that was this big, big white moon in the sky, and we, it looked like an angel, and I didn't know what it was, and um, love flew right towards it, and I'm just like, holy shit. beautiful CVPs and welcome to my channel it's a beautiful day to be alive look at this beautiful Sun and this beautiful air and everything is beautiful look at the mountains back there there's snow still in the mountains we are in sunny California if you are new here or welcome to my channel I'm Carolyn on Petzl this is love and this is hope hope is seven he's a Catalina macaw or even known as a rainbow macaw and love here is five He's turning six actually. Hope is turning eight this year actually. And he's a beautiful hyacinth macaw, six years old. Anyway, so we're gonna free fly them today here in this beautiful area. And um, I'm trying to get Love out more to free, free fly him. He's a little glumsy. He's a good free flyer. And he, what, 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 what are you doing? What is that? Oh, it's a jogger. It's a jogger. It's fine, hi. They're a little spook about joggers. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. They are. <laughs> My first love to scream at joggers. I don't know why, but maybe it feels like a big predator, a big threat coming onto them. So, but he was so nice. We have a little bit wind going here, but it's nothing too bad that we can conquer. And I'm just waiting for the GPS to get started. Oh. Look, so everything is good, it started. So let's put this GPS on the birds. Hope has a tail mount. Um, let me show you, here's his tail mount. He chewed it off, but I put in a new one. So let's put on his tail mount. The GPS is all uh, good to go. It's blinking blue, this is what we want. We want it to blink blue, as you can see right here, it's blinking blue. Let's put it on his tail. Hopey tail, give me tail. Give me tail, tail. Okay, that's it. That's all what it takes. Okay, so Hope is ready to fly. With Love, I have another system, but let me fly Hopi first and get him out of the harness. Okay, Hopi, are you ready? Yeah, and go fly? Yeah, okay, whenever you're ready. Okay, go fly. Then you did? Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. Go. Go fly. <laughs> This was his first flight. Okay, let me get um, the GPS going and let's sack way over to over there and get love flying too. So this was Hope's first flight. I'm gonna um, fly love today. Love needs to get flied. He has so much energy, this little boy. Okay, it's also different to have a male hyacinth than a female hyacinth. Female hyacinth are more calmer. Male hyacinth have more energy. So Hope is happy, you see he's, his neutrons is going wild right now. He's so happy. Wow, look at this gorgeous, wow, look at this water, this gorgeous scenery, so gorgeous. Very, very gorgeous. Look at this area, look how beautiful this is. Everything is blooming, way, way, yay, yay, yay. Okay. And look at the mountains, oh, hi. Oh, you're first flying. Oh, yeah, he's free flight trained. That's wonderful. Yeah, are you a veterinarian? I, I am. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, but I was just uh, having a walk in the park and so I was like, I don't see that every day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, they are free flight trained. Um, I have a, um, is that a hawk? I also have to look out for predator birds. Oh, yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure. No, it's look like, it looks like a pigeon. We're good. What a Some, beautiful day. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes those hawks come out and off the mountains or the oh. falcons and they just oh. kind of spook my birds. But yeah. this is the best place to free fly them. Um, yeah, yeah, amazing. <laughs> are you a, are you a veterinarian for birds? No, uh, dogs and cats. Dogs and but cats. I, I used to work for uh, an exotic bird veterinarian. Oh, okay. Where you, you work now? I do house call euthanasia. Oh, so we okay. were here on a call. And oh, I'm sorry. Had a little break. I thought I'd yeah. take a walk in the park. <laughs> so I don't see my comets flying around every day. Yeah, he needs to fly. They, they yeah. just needs to need they to do. fly. That's it's the nature, you know. Enrichment and fur yeah. and muscle and everything. Yeah. Else. Like dogs need to run. They. Oh no! <laughs> really? <laughs> They need Stop to fly. Talking, right? I know. <laughs> He's like, let's get going with flying. <laughs> Enjoy your day. Thanks Thank you. Much. Bye. Oh no. What a really? Turkey. You little. <laughs> yeah, they like to bully me. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. So while I was talking with this nice veterinarian, and guys, I really don't hate veterinarian. I just hate the veterinarian who do malpractice. I I'm totally pro veterinarian. <laughs> we need them. Like, if you want to be a veterinarian, go for it. Like, hallelujah, we need them. It's just like people who say they know and then they don't know and then birds die. Because over and over again, veterinarians do more harm than good. Anyway, so let's get Love out flying with Hopi together. Let's put the GPS on him. Hey, Love, come on. Come on, little boy. Do you want to fly? Do you want to fly? Want to fly? So Love has a backpack. Um, no way, you chew that off too? Aye. Really? You chew both off? No, you're not gonna chew off. No, you're not gonna chew off the GPS. Let go, let go, let go. Okay, okay ready? Ready to go fly? 11 minutes late. Okay. I got it. Okay, come on. Bye, Hopi. What is Hopi? What is Hopi? Stealing nuts? Hopi! Hopi, what is Hopi doing? Come. Hopi, come. You can't open those nuts. You're hungry. Hi. You can't open it. Okay, finally, after 10 minutes, ah! I finally. Come on. I got the nut. Hope steal it. Love opens it and they eat it both together. I'm gonna wait for the wind to die down and for Love to finish eating his nut now. That Hope got him. So a little wind came up. I'm gonna wait for the wind to die down. His GPS seems to be working. I just hope and pray that it doesn't fall off. Oh my gosh. This is... No, no, no. You're gonna go fly now, okay? Hope, Love, fly. Love, you wanna go fly? You wanna go fly now? Love, you wanna go fly? Hope you wanna go fly? Hi, come fly. One, two, three, go! Good boy! Good boy! Uh-huh! Uh-huh! Good! Uh-huh! <laughs> Hope that his second fly, but check this out. And a hole. Oh my gosh. A hole and poop. Really? Really? Oh my gosh. Birds. Birds. A hole and poop. So now I have to fly low. Did you open your net? But the wind is now a little like, it's like a five. It's like a five. So I'm gonna just wait a little bit for the winds to die down. Later. One. Ah. Two, three.
something. like a stork or something like that and then hope he took off and flew with love to support him but he's coming back i mean if we fly in waters there will be like water birds and storks and stuff but he was totally harmless but it was just awesome it looks like an angel and those two did an awesome job i'm so happy let's see if the gps is still attached to love <laughs> I hope it didn't. oh what else what else are they just coming down the mountains oh, yeah what is that that's that. another bird. Okay. Come on. Guys, guys, wolf, two vultures just came in. Two big vultures just came in. Look. Circling around us. So I have attached both of them back into the harness. Wow. Um, <laughs> I'll just call this a day. Love. Love had one flight, hope he had three, but he did a big one flight. I, I, I'm happy. Oh, oh my gosh, look at all these birds now. Look at all these birds. There's one, two, three, four vultures. Okay guys, I'll just call this a day. They are circling around us. They're very curious about us. But anyway, if you like this video, give us a like, comment below, and I'll see you in the new episode of Caroline One Petsa. I love you, bye.